Well good morning and welcome once again to Ed's Orchids. Now as I said yesterday I'm going to do a very short video on bugs. But I've one thing to tell you to me. Do you remember when I uh, put that program on uh, the bleach where uh, I was dipping all these uh, plants in, in bleach and a lot of people tried them and said it worked. Well a few months ago in the uh, excuse me, the Orchid Society of Great Britain Journal which is this one. Somebody uh, from the uh, society picked up the, uh, the video of what I did and they put an article and they attributed the uh, bleach treatment to me. Well, this month there's another letter in here which says, and I quote, bug infested orchids. I inherited some bug infested orchids, scale and mealybugs, and followed your instructions as in the feedback article you wrote for the journal and immersed the whole pot in the bleach solution. The plants are now bug free and growing away healthy with no after effects. The articles to the bleach treatment in the journal have been both valuable and informative and this is a cheap, effective method without having to resort to pesticide. So there you are. So if anybody's worried about using bleach, which I virtually always use, if anything's badly infected, uh, then don't be frightened of using it. It'll do the job and work 100%. Now when I start mentioning the various uh, bugs we get, of which there are, uh, I think there's six, being, uh, what are they, mealybugs, scale, aphids, slugs, thrips, red spider mite, I think there's six of them. And uh, when I go through them, I've also listed uh, a treatments which you can use, but uh, I do advise you all to use the bleach treatment which is cheap and it's very very effective. So the first one we'll talk about are uh, aphids. Now aphids if you get those in the greenhouse and touch wood I've never had it, uh, they all generally come in from the uh, outdoor garden. Uh, they deform flowers and they add light blotches to the leaves and uh, they're generally a, a, a a nuisance. You can also put uh, a load of ladybirds in your greenhouse and they'll they'll eat them but I don't think they'll, uh, they'll eat that many, they'll, they'll get rid of them. So the cure with for these is either you wash them off or use an insecticide. Then there are slugs and snails. And these will bring all the host of problems like spoiling flowers, eating buds, and they will even get down into the compost and heat the uh, newly growing roots, root tips of uh, roots. They do appear when the lights go out. So a lot of people, uh, of the older end especially, uh, they'll go into the greenhouse with a torch at night and search round. So then they will find out uh, if they've got any slugs and snails and stuff like that. And you've got to be quick or else they disappear very quickly. But that's one way of, uh, of catching slugs and snails. And uh, the other one is usual, you know, use slug pellets, but use them with care. Make sure you don't, you know, fill, fill the, the, the plant with, uh, with uh, these slug pellets. Just scatter a few round the bottom of the plant, you know, round the bottom so the slugs won't crawl up. Then there are thrips, which uh, I'm pleased to say I've never had, never seen them. I might have had them, but uh, there again, I said I've never seen them. But you only realise you have them when you uh, see unsightly marks on the flowers and the little things, uh, little black things nipping about, you know, jumping from one place to another, or flying from one place to another. Not too easy to remove, but there are things on the market to eradicate them bleach being one. 
Then we've got scale, which are a sort of limpet-like shelled pests, which are generally found on the underside of leaves. They virtually suck the life out of, uh, out of your plants. Insecticidal sprays can kill the young ones, but the adults can be wiped off with a damp rag. Also use, uh, as I said, the, uh, the, the bleach treatment again, and, and they'll get rid of them. If you've got a real bad dose of these, then immerse all the plants in a strong bleach solution. You know, when you've got rid of them, then regularly, you know, once a week, once a fortnight, you can fill your spray up with uh, a few drops of bleach and just spray the entire lot. Won't cause them any harm, but it'll keep the pests right down. Then to go along with scale, we've got mealybugs. You know, these little white fluffy things, sometimes with the long tail variety. And these can be found uh, and seen very easily under the leaves, in the leaf axles, in the flowers, pseudobulbs, uh, and in the sheaths of the pseudobulbs. You can also treat these with an insecticide, but the main thing is to examine your new plants which you bring into your collection. This is how you probably introduce mealybugs into your collection, by buying new plants, not inspecting them, not putting them on one side to spray them to begin with before you add them to the collection. Always make sure they're clean before you add them to the collection. Red spider mite. The tiny spider-like looking insects which attack the soft-leaved leaves and they leave unsightly reddish coloured uh, scars, virtually on the, the end of leaves. They're a little harder to eliminate, I think, than the common pests. Uh, a good one I use for eliminating them, if I'm not using bleach, is the uh, plant invigorator. But this is a thing you've got to use every single week. Uh, the bugs will never become immune to them, and uh, if you spray them every week, you'll keep it free from every pest. But there again, using the bleach, that'll do the job just as well. Uh, you can also use intersect, insecticidal soap. It will bring about some uh, arrest of the pests. But the pests only bother us when the, uh, the, the air is warm and dry. Not a problem in winter. Well, I don't think I, uh, I'd go through any more than that. So, another short, quick video. Hope it's helped somebody. And uh, until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.